Wouldn't you love to treat yourself to a crisp, refreshing, ice cold martini anytime you wanted? In this episode, I'll be showing you how to make the most delightful freezer martini so that by the time five o'clock hits, you have a martini in your hands and on your lips within seconds. But first, if you're excited for this episode, go ahead and hit that like button and also make sure to subscribe so that you can see all upcoming content. Welcome to another episode of Natalia Con Gusto. It's my pleasure to be here with you once again, demystifying cocktails and spirits so that you can make better cocktails at home. I've worked as a bartender. I've also worked on behalf of liquor companies, and I've also trained hundreds of operators and bartenders over the last 10 years. And everything I've learned in those 10 years has been really interesting and exciting. And that's why I'm so excited to share all this information with you. So what exactly is a freezer martini? Well, it's your standard martini with a few adjustments, which we'll talk about shortly, but it's been scaled up for multiple servings and it's also been pre-diluted and it's been bottled and then stored in a freezer ahead of time. I'll show you how to do all of this. First up is Fu Gin. This gin has been made from a whiskey grain mash and because it's gin, of course, it uses juniper berries, but it also has lemon peel, which will get us those beautiful bright citrus notes. And it also uses bergamot infused Earl Grey tea, which will round everything out just beautifully. For our vermouth, we're using this gorgeous vermouth produced by Rare Tea Cellar. It's a Magnolia Aperitif wine. It's really special because it uses five rare teas. The real star of the show here is a Magnolia Oolong tea. It's quite gorgeous and those beautiful floral notes will pair perfectly with the bright citrus notes of our gin. Now normally I drink a two to one martini, meaning two parts gin to one part vermouth. But for this cocktail, because it's going in our freezer, I've made a couple adjustments. As you might already know, alcohol has a lower freezing point than water, which is why when you put a bottle of vodka or gin or whiskey in your freezer, it doesn't freeze. However, the ingredients that we're using here require a lower proof spirit. And because of that, that will bring our overall ABV of our cocktail down. And I wanna make sure that the ABV, the proof of our cocktail is as high as possible without disrupting the balance of the cocktail. Don't worry, I've already done all the measurements for you, all the calculations, so this really will be a no-brainer. What I'm trying to say is that for this cocktail, I've adjusted it. So rather than have a two to one martini, I'll be doing a three to one martini, meaning that I'll be using more of my higher proof spirit. First things first, we want to add 15 ounces of our gin into our measuring cup. Next, we'll add five ounces of our aperitif wine. Ah, just love the smell of that. One of the cool things about a freezer martini is that you will go ahead and pre-dilute your cocktail. As soon as it's been chilled in your freezer and it's ready to go, all you have to do is pour it into the glass and you've got a cocktail right then and there. In order to pre-dilute my cocktail, I'll add five ounces of filtered water added to my batch. Believe it or not, this cocktail is ready to go. That's really all that there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and taste it just to make sure that I I like what it tastes like. Oh yeah, that's good. My cocktail is ready to go inside the bottle. You can use a funnel. Honestly, I don't know where my funnel is right now, so I'm just gonna pour very, very carefully directly into the bottle. And that's really it. That's our bottled freezer martini. It really is very simple. And the great thing about a freezer martini, why I love having them on hand, is because they involve no bar tools, there's no shaking, there's no stirring, and once it's been chilled in the freezer for a couple hours, it will develop this gorgeous, silky texture. Also, if you're curious about making this cocktail yourself, you can sign up for my newsletter. In that newsletter, I will send you a checklist of everything that you need, as well as info about how to pick the right gin and also how to pick the right vermouth. And anything else that I discussed here, I'll lay it out for you. Thanks again for joining me at Natalia Con Gusto. Con Gusto means happily, joyfully, or with pleasure, and it was my pleasure to be here with you today. If you liked this video, make sure to comment with a yes in the comment section. Also, make sure to subscribe so that you see all upcoming content, and don't forget to hit that like button.